Radio. Radio. What's the deal, man? We're here with Niles What's and Nice. Good, Ward? What's good with you? All is good, man. Just staying busy, you know, staying safe amongst, you know, everything going on in society right now and uh, just keeping pushing. For sure. You still pushing uh, to remain? Yes, for sure. Definitely. Right here, y'all. To remain is out. Sure. It's at uh, Flat Black and Circular in Lansing, and it's at uh, the Record Lounge in Lansing in um, Rio Town. And sure. it's uh, Big shout digital out media Lounge. all around. For sure. Okay. So, yeah, To Remain is out. It's been out. Yeah. And yep. about uh, To Remain, you've been dropping. Um, how many singles have you dropped from the album so far up until this point? So, so far it's been two. The first single was The Time Is Now, and the second single was Cold Fire. So the third one is uh, Reassure My Soul that just got released last week. All right, you feel like there's only three singles on the album? It's so many, man, it's think? like- That's what I'm saying, like, <laughs> come, hey, we talking, let's talk about it. <laughs> right, so, right, right. How many, yeah, how, it's, many, how many records do you really think you're gonna push on the two remain album? You, you, you've done those so far, is that, mm -hmm. are you going to continue to just push the whole goal, album or are you going to pump any other singles? Um, right, right. You know, There's a couple more. Add singles from the album, you know what I'm saying? Word, word, yeah. There's a couple more records on the project that's single worthy. It really comes down to just like the feel, like how I feel. Okay. When the moment comes, then it's like, okay, it's time to release that. But like as an independent artist, and I want to tell all independent artists out there, like, Continue to push your project, continue to push your record because there's always more people that's out there that need to hear you and that need to see you, you know? And when the time is right to make the next project, then that's when that time is. And I'm in a transition right now for a new project, but the times that we're in right now, I was like, yeah, I need to release Reassure My Soul. And to be honest, Ward, that's one of the songs that people said should have been like the first or second one. So to the people who are fans of Niles, um, who love that record, they're like, well, we're glad you did that, so. That's lit. Okay. Um, so, how many, uh, how many, how many times have, how many times have you felt like things weren't going your way during um, your campaign on the To Remain album? Like, hmm. has there ever been moments to where you was like, yo, like, did you ever get exhausted by pushing it? You know what I'm saying? Did you ever feel like, was it uphill? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, you know, when you're moving a project independently and when you have people that you hire, you know, opposed yeah. to having like a full label, then it's a lot that you have to do uh, on your own. And thank God that I have certain people in position that's helping me with this process and, and keeping it afloat, you know? And the thing that's beautiful about having something that you drop independently is you're able to control the narrative as far as what gets released, when it gets released, how it gets promoted, how it gets marketed. And I released it under my business, the Avant Garde. So it makes my business uh, solidified to be a label. So if I want to represent another artist, if I want to songwrite for another artist, I have something under my own umbrella. So as far as the uphill aspect of it, it's always work that you have to do, like all the time, every day. And plus, mm -hmm. if there's other things that you do outside of that profession, so like I teach, you know, mm -hmm. I put on concerts, I produce events, I do private events through the avant-garde, then I funnel the album through all those different avenues. So like in my lane, it's different than the lane of someone who's on a major label. And that's something that I chose because I was on a major label when I was in New York and I realized if I'm going to really do this, it has to be a, a, a unique way of doing it. So, um, and, and I'm a fan of continuing to push your album. Some people release a project, you know, and they're like, oh man, it's been like four months, you know, mm -hmm. but it's like there's mad people who still don't know you, you know? So keep finding creative ways, especially with social media, you know, there's songs that I'll just put out that I did in a collaborative effort a year ago. And people be acting like it's brand new, you know? So you gotta just keep picking that lock. Yeah, that's why That's why I was asking uh, in the first question, like about like how many singles you're gonna do because you can keep yeah. 
you can keep doing that. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah, yeah. But I am, it's some new material, new situations right now that's in the making that I could bring up, you know, later in this, so. Okay, for sure. Yeah, you did have some uh, uh, some new stuff. But uh, in the To Remain album, uh, I wanted to ask you, how how many how much did you reflect on you on your Lansing lifestyle in that album? Cause I, cause look, every time reason why I'm asking you this is because every time we had like personal conversations, a lot of it is about like hometown. You know what I'm saying? You always talk about the people here, what's people been up yeah. to, you know, are certain right. are certain businesses still here, certain foods still here. So you always you every time I talk to you, you like real tapped in on right how things are in your hometown. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like when you was writing the album, did you know like how often did your experiences here remind you of the type of stuff that you was writing? You know what I'm saying? Oh man, to be honest, man, the the whole album, man. I'm a very nostalgic minded person. You know, like. Yeah. Like me and War, we grown, but every time I talk to him, it reminds me of when we was like in middle school, like when we he was at the white. Yeah, always talking about childhood stuff. That's, that's what crazy. always, bro. Yeah, and like War, old. like that. To be honest, Ward, you're you like are man of the people in Lansing. So I bet a lot of people have those nostalgic thoughts, especially if they're out of town and they talking to you, you know, because a lot of people have memories with you. You know what I mean? So um, but um, yeah, being from Lansing. Growing up in Lansing, um, having my some of my best childhood and teenage memories in Lansing and, uh, you know, struggles that I had to overcome, um, you know, everything gears back towards that. And I'm a person that's like, if you're from somewhere, you know, then rep it. Because when you get the respect of the people in your city, you can always fall back on that. You know, wherever else you go, you know, those are new people that you meet and they connect with you as well. But, you know, the people who know you most are the people who came up with you. And it, there, there's no better feeling than having, and I'm being real about this, there's no better feeling than having people proud of you who grew up with you, you know? Like, I always wanted to be one of the people that people from my city could look at and be inspired by, motivated by, whatever they think of me, they get inspired or they're, or they're proud, you know? Okay. Because um, it's always been love, too. That's the thing, man. Like, when I came up, everybody was like, bro, like, you know, you're going to do it. Like everybody, like, e like unanimously. So yeah, I'll never, you had that, a lot bro. of support for sure. Oh my gosh. And I, I'll never forget it. And I, I always kept those relationships going, man. And you know, from, from everywhere, man. So just shout out to everybody in Lansing. And I'm, I'm just glad to be a, a representative, you know, because you have like, you know, Jay is from Brooklyn or, you know, Kendrick is from Compton or, you know, so it's just dope that Lansing has, you know, a representative amongst all the other representatives as well. Sure. You know, um, yeah, so. No doubt. So you got something new. You got Reassure My Soul. Yeah. So Reassure My Soul is on to remain. Let me show you. all So track 14 right there. Reassure my soul. And um, this song is, uh, I call it a global soul search. You know, it was made for this exact time that we're in right now. We have a pandemic, something that we haven't seen before. We have people leaving this earth at like record numbers from a pandemic that, that's completely out of control. And that's creating heartache. It's creating suicide. It's creating divorces. It's almost like anarchy, you know? And, um, but even amongst all that, I'm an optimist, you know? And my thing is don't let the hell around you affect the paradise within you. Like you have what's going on out there, but then you have what's going on in here and what's going on in here, you know? And as long as you keep your own philosophy of life alive, nothing going on around you can affect that. That's what reassure my soul is about. And like, you know, coming up, we were homeless. You know, uh, I've, I've experienced things that had to do with not having anything at all. Like, what's what's coming next? You know, seriously. And so, um, but then I think about the flip side of that: being able to go to college, being able to become an entrepreneur, um, and just having the simple things like being able to have a car, 
being able to have food on the table, being able to have food in my fridge, um, being able to, to eat, being able to breathe, like having my four limbs. You know, it's like some people are born without limbs. Some people are born blind. Like, and so it's about keeping those people in prayer and keeping those people in your thoughts and having empathy for them, but just being thankful because even the smallest things that you have that you're taking for granted, complaining about, that could be taken away from you. That's even a blessing. So if you're not paying attention to that, it's a wrap. But if you pay attention to it, you're cultivating it, you're watering it, it multiplies, you know? So it's just asking you, do you know how blessed you actually are? And I use the word actually because actually makes it infinite. Do like you know when someone's like, you you're actually, actually it's like, exactly, you know? So um, it's a spiritual song, it's a spiritual record. And it's something that I feel that will make the people listen and reflect on what they do have. And it'll make them calm down instead of being anxious and in fear because of what they don't have. So, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That was produced by? Produced by a brother named Dizzle Vision, who's out of Minneapolis. Okay. And his son is singing on the record, uh, DVP. So, okay, that's cool. Big shout outs to them. Good looking. Yeah. It's a thorough album, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you, the man. Release party was, the release party was nice. Man, man. People. Like, to the people who came through, it was a real good crowd, too. It was just love, man. Like, that's just one of the things you dream about, man. You know? Like, if you leave, you do some, you know, some things that's notable or positive that people see. And then you come back, and everyone you went to school with, like, giving you that, that's like... To me, that that that's that's like I can't even explain it, man. You know, seeing everyone from Sexton, Eastern, you know, Everett, even Waverly, El, like everybody was in the building, man. That was cool, man. So, and Ward, man, like you a legend, bro. I want to tell you this on screen. I want to give you roses while we here, man. Like for sure. day one, you always kept it thorough, man. And um, yeah. you know, we appreciate you for that. You know, you really hold the city down in an incredible way, man. And um. Appreciate you, man. You was one of the people who put the, the thing together. I hit you up and you was like, I got you. Cause I would have had to go through a whole other avenue. Yeah. You know, paying yeah, the, the DJ, pay, you know, and I'm I'm from there, but I'm out of town. So so you you really looked out, man, and you hosted it and you you held it all the way down, man. Yeah. So you already know, man. Anytime. All you gotta do is make the call, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. War war skills, man. For sure. Yeah. Reassure my soul. How can they find you, man? Social media, all of that? Yeah, so um, y'all could find me on IG at Niles Got You. That's at N-I-L-E-S-G-O-T-Y-O-U. Uh, my website is www.thevantgardeis.com. I'm on Facebook. I'm Chad with Niles Phillips. And Ward, can I tell them about a, a big upcoming project Go that's coming? It. Yeah. Okay, so um, I've collaborated with a Grammy Award winning producer by the name of Nabate Isles out of New York City. He's worked with Jill Scott. He's worked with Fantasia, Kenny Lattimore, like so many, like inc most deaf, incredible artists and a singer out of Detroit named Beth Griffith Manley, who was featured on The Voice on Team John Legend. And um, she's toured with Anita Baker, has done stuff with Whitney Houston. The song is called Superhero, and it's an ode to Chadwick Boseman. And that'll be coming out on November 27th. And part of the proceeds will go towards um, Cancer Research Center that brings awareness to brothers about how we need to be as healthy as possible, you know, so we could remain as, as long as possible. So be on the lookout for that. I'm super excited about that. For sure. How soon are you planning on uh, putting that out? That'll be out November 27th. Okay. So, so it's, I, I mean, like, like the, uh, the campaign. So, so you, you taking proceeds from the streams of the, of the record or? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So okay. part of the proceeds from the streams and, uh, the sales will go towards, um, a cancer research program that we're yeah. in talks with right now. Okay. And Chadwick Bozeman is, you know, first of all, it's having the same name that already makes it when he first hit the scene, I was like, Word, okay, another brother named Chad, because there's not a lot of brothers named Chad. With. And then just seeing how he moved just with the uh, different movies that he did, featured as Jackie Robinson and Thurgood Marshall and James Brown, you know? 
Yeah. Um, along with that, when Black Panther came out, Ward, it was just like, we've never seen nothing like that, you know? So yeah. for him to yeah. pass, is just like, wow. And just how he carries himself. As much paper as he was making, super humble, you know? Yeah. Visiting people who had disabilities and um, just a stand-up class act. And uh, he's one of my role models. So this is the least I could do. For sure. So Superhero Y'all, November 27th, will be dropping. It's on. Indeed. Appreciate you, dog. For sure. Appreciate you too, man. And Maybe shout out to everybody in the 517. Say it again. Nah, go ahead. Sign up. I was just saying sh shout outs to everybody in the 517. You know, uh, thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. You know, I bring it all back to y'all. And, uh, you know, the city's always on, on my mind, you know. And um, some things in the future, me and Ward is uh, in talks about that has to do with just uplifting everybody out there. So much love for me to y'all. You already know, man. Mid Mayhem Radio, Niles once again, Ward Skills. Yes. Make sure y'all follow the Mid Mayhem page, the YouTube page, subscribe to the channel, and all of that. You feel me? Indeed. All right, y'all. Love, right. love. Peace. For sure.